hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel real life with Rons. um today i'm going to be speaking about being a mum <laughs> and then my labor i don't know if i should speak about that in here i might do a separate youtube video for that but yeah i wanted to speak about being a mum and how my journey's been and how it started and how it's continuing and how it's going at the moment so basically i had my daughter on about 2015 and now we're in 2019 so my daughter's gonna be four it wasn't easy obviously when i found out i told you guys we broke up but we decided to keep strong and co-parent and we've done that ever since so she's got her mum and dad and that's a beautiful thing and i thank god for that i even thank god for giving me wisdom to make my channel i thank god for keeping me strong to be a mum in general because being a mum is very hard sometimes i know everyone likes to make it look glam and some girls on instagram have their pram and their cars and their money and they're like yeah yummy mummy and all of that but it's very hard and i rate all the mums out there give me a thumbs up if um you hear where i'm coming from all the mums even if you're not a mum and you're going to be a mum, you're pregnant or whatever, that's fine. Um, I feel like um, when I first became a mum, I was very nervous. Obviously, I didn't know what to expect, not being with her dad. I didn't know how, what to expect, like just doing it alone. But um, obviously, I had a bit of support from my mum. I had a bit of support from my siblings. And then in the beginning, I got to stay with my mum. So I kind of lived with my mum because obviously the way the London system is, is like, well, I feel like you've got to have a baby before you get a house that's what i feel like because like when i used to live with my mum and have problems with her i used to try and go to the council and obviously get a note from my mum saying that she's kicked me out because she used to obviously have arguments with me a lot and they will be like oh um we can probably give you a room to rent if you look for a cheap room or they would probably tell you that you've got to go on the bidding system and you're probably going to be on the last band maybe like band four or something where you're never going to get noticed so it was always hard so anyway long story short going back to that um i had to stay with my mum for a bit because obviously when you do find out you're pregnant they take you more serious but they still take a bit of time so they tell you oh um do you have anywhere to stay while we quickly look for you somewhere i said i don't have nowhere to stay but obviously when i saw the place they wanted me to stay in I was like, no, there's no way in my pregnancy I'm going to stay here. So I just pretended that I was staying there and obviously waited for them to give me a better place because it was dirty. There was piss everywhere. You can get infections. Like your pregnancy could go downhill. You can basically, God forbid, kill you and your child by staying in some un unhealthy condition because they just want to dump you anywhere. But obviously I still wanted my place to be in the housing list so that i can get a flat before she's born so i just stayed with my mum and i always go and check up on my house i would sleep there maybe two days and then come back to my mum's because obviously you want to be in your comfort zone you want to be where you're comfortable you don't want to stay somewhere where you're not happy and it smells and people are shouting and neighbors are arguing and neighbors are even dirty their self like i think it's the reason why the place was probably dirty maybe they didn't make, mean to give it to us like that maybe people make it dirty over time but regardless it wasn't a nice place so anyway um so anyway i stayed with my mom and obviously i'll just keep like waiting for them to get back to me waiting for them to get back to me then i think when i had my daughter they moved me into like a studio place but it was so tight and i was like oh my god like this is what you've got to do in this country that's the only thing about this country i feel like for young mums and for mothers in general they make it so hard in terms of the housing benefit council tax all this stuff they put onto you when you have a child and when you're a mum in this country it can blow your head off like sometimes i'm just like where do i start you've got bills you've got rent you've got council tax you've got your own phone bill you've got a water bill internet bill like it's just so much to deal with in one space and it's like you've got to different definitely work or if not go on benefits but not everybody wants to be on benefits you want to try you know what i mean you want to try but it even gets to a point where you're just like i might as well go on benefits because this is tiring like i don't know if anyone can relate but that's how it gets in my head like when i first had her i was like oh my god this is a lot but i've always been a working person because obviously i don't know if i spoke about it in my first um if i spoke about it in my first no i don't know if i spoke about it actually no i don't know if i spoke about that but yeah i've always been like a working person i've always worked hard and tried my best so in terms of me sitting at home now just being a mum that's no problem but i've always been like a 
like you know what i mean you know like when you're active i'm not the type of person just sit on my ass and let things come to me i've always tried so i was like uh so anyway i just pushed through pushed through kept jumping from job to job like i was in tesco at the end but i think when she was born I kind of, no, actually, I was in Tesco. Then I left Tesco and started jumping from job to job. Then I got more into, like, child care because I felt like, come on now, Renice, you're 20. I had my daughter when I was 20. So you're 20. you got to be in your... You gotta be in your in your career mode now. There's no more tes um, Tesco, maybe Sports Direct, Primark. Even though I've never worked there, but I'm just giving examples. You gotta kind of get in your career mode now. Even the mums out there, try getting your career mode. I know it's hard, but try and think of what you want to become in the future. And even if you don't go uni, guys, do courses. So anyway, I decided that you know what, I'm gonna start doing a course. So I did. I already had health and social care, so that kind of helps me with nursery work. So I got into nursery work like that. Because I had so I, I got A levels, social health and social care um, diplomas that were obviously equivalent to A levels. So I had that already. So I did nursery work for a bit, but it wasn't for me. Then I went into um, teaching. That helped me now be a teacher that I am now. And I got diplomas and stuff, grades, good grades in that. So what am I saying? Um, yeah, I just feel like if you try your best as a mum. And just put your daughter, your son at the back of your mind, or your kids at the back of your mind. You will push through, because that's how it was for me. I just kept thinking, I gotta be in my career. I've got to like, I want my daughter to grow up and be like, oh, my mum is this, my mum is that, and she can never say, oh, my mum didn't try, so I don't want to do nothing, because my mum didn't do nothing. My mum worked in Tesco my whole life, so or my mum worked. My mum will just sit at home and look after me, so. No, she, and I don't think they'll ever say that but it's good when you've done something or you've tried in your life or you've got proof of certificates to show them so that when you're trying to school them they can say yeah my mum schooled me she showed me this 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 that so anyway I've been doing teaching and even like my daughter understands now she's like oh mummy you're a teacher and she looks at my badge sometimes and she's like you're a teacher and she's like mummy so you're gonna go to work and then you're gonna pick me up after and I'm like yeah I'm gonna go to work then I'll pick you up after so i feel like um as i moved into my own house now it just became me and my daughter and i was i'm going back to the story now i just became me and my daughter and i was like wow i've actually got a little place now and it's just me and her it was so scary because i was like oh my god like, i gotta start co-parenting now so me and the dad will message each other and then he'll pick her up on some days and we had our days what we'll do and it was like oh my god and obviously when she was growing up it was so hard because you're not used to like the bedtime you've got to get a routine you've got to like know how to feed them know what to give them what they like start getting their little swag together start learning the work to buy and it was really like hard in the beginning like not hard in a bad way but you don't know to get like now obviously if you have a child if i have a child now i'll probably be more better in terms of like how to be a mummy but them times it was new obviously i had my mom and that but as, as you move into your own house you want to do your own thing now you don't want to like forever like be bombarding people so we got our own bond and me and my daughter became close in our own way i started doing things just me and her i started taking her park maybe i'll i'll sing songs to her we'll watch videos like kitty videos online and then as the years went on she just started growing up and ever since we've kind of had a bond so I just feel like once you get you get that bond and you get that routine with them it will just flow and then forever ever amen you lot will just grow together like my daughter is like my best friend obviously she's at this age where she thinks she's such a diva and she's a big woman and sometimes she gets on my nerves but she's my best friend she tells me how it is she's like mommy this is how i feel this is what i want to do can i do it Mummy, can I eat this? Can I? She just tells me how it is, and she loves her dad to bits. And I'm so happy for her that her dad's in her life. And um, yeah, I feel like as long as you've got a good co-parenting strategy, or you're together and you're just making sure God's first, and you're being together, you're praying together, you're supporting each other, your kids are seeing a happy home together you'll be fine as a mother. But being a mother mentally, just by yourself, even if you have a partner or not, when you're by yourself, you just feel drained. Like some days I wake up and I'm like, Lord, give me strength, I'm so tired. I just feel so pressured, like I just need to keep going. There's never like, oh yeah, I'm a mum and I've done this for my child, so I'm gonna sit back. It's never like that. You need to keep going as a mum, you gotta keep pushing and you gotta keep doing your best to make them happy and to make your future good for them. So when they get to like a certain age they'll be like oh mom like you've really tried for me do you know what i mean 
even like savings like little things that you wouldn't think of like i'm now starting to understand that those things are important and i've been doing it and obviously the relationship she's got with her dad or the mum, like the relationship your child has with their mum or dad, that helps as well. It should be nice and good and well so that they can grow in a stable mindset knowing they've got their parents. And obviously their teachers, make sure you get to know their teachers, make sure you get to know their friends. Maybe on their birthdays, bring their friends around. Even like um, my daughter, I'm trying to now like um, get her to have like a friendship group so that when she has birthdays now, she can bring them. Because obviously, you don't want your child to oh my daughter's the only child when you're the only ch when they're the only child it's so hard because they haven't really got anybody so it's just like they're just by themselves literally like now it's just her youtube is basically my daughter's best friend but i try and limit it because i feel like she can't just be on youtube all the time so sometimes i'll be like come off youtube now it's a certain time and she'll be like mommy i don't want to i don't want to go to bed and i'm like come on you have to but obviously if she has friends now i can plan play dates and weekends she can go and meet them in the park or something and bring their bikes and stuff because my daughter really likes to do activities she likes riding her bike she likes riding her scooter she likes um decorating she likes writing she likes messing up the place so i feel like when she gets her own batch of friends it will be good because they can come around to mine and she can go around to theirs and yeah i just feel like as long as you have a routine as long as you have god whatever religion you are sorry not any god as long as you have a you have your religion like you have a religion or you don't have to but as long as you have well for me as long as you have god as long as i have god i feel like it's worked for me being a mum, and i'm trying my best because i've had god i've had um a routine i've had like i'm confident yeah like i've got um what's that thing called like i've got like my self-esteem is good like i'm i've yeah i've grown so i'm able to now look after somebody else yeah i'm not insecure like i haven't got like a lot going on mentally where well, i went before i had my daughter i wasn't really i wasn't i didn't find myself properly i think she helped me actually find myself so that's good so i feel like once you have all those things intact your mental physical all of that and you've got like your religion and you've obviously got good support as well but obviously some people i don't really want to talk about support all the time because some people don't have anybody it's just them and their child to the end do you know what i mean so i feel like as long as your head's right and you've got like you know something like a religion or you know you meditate or something to let you to keep you going you'll be fine but i feel like it is challenging and i feel like as i was saying bills everything the government and stuff does for you mothers it's not enough i feel like we are pushed to do a lot and it's very pressuring even like theory practical like getting your license and stuff is not as simple it's not like a mum can say oh um okay i can't pass can you like because they're busy some people have five kids and they're like 27 or 20 people are young and they've got loads of kids so example you've got loads of kids and you have never had the time to pass there's no like way of helping you pass quicker they don't do like there's nothing in the system that i feel like they do extra for parents for mothers i feel like okay we get tax credit and stuff working tax and stuff if you're working but like what about the mums that are not working what about the mums that don't know how to work these things there's no like extra things given for them so i just feel like it's very pressuring being a mum but it's very re re rewarding like it's a rewarding job so yeah guys i got dyslexia so sometimes when i talk i'm trying to get my words out and i'm like uh, 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 trying to make sure i say the right thing but i don't mean it and i'm not being silly that's just how i talk sometimes but um and obviously because this is going to be on youtube i'm trying to make sure I, I say my words properly but yeah i do have dyslexia and that's another thing what about the parents that have like disabilities and stuff i don't know i just don't feel like they really give a lot for mothers. Even the way you have to have a baby to get a flat, I don't think that's nice either. Because then it's like, it pushes you in. It doesn't necessarily push you into being a mum quick, but then obviously think about it. If you're trying to just get your life together and not have a baby because you want to be married, but then you get pregnant unplanned, you'll feel like I might as well keep it anyway because I'll probably get my house. Do you get it? Not like you, not like you plan to get pregnant to get a house, but because you know that, that's the only way you can even get a yard, to, uh, yeah, get a place to even continue life and have shelter to move forward. You're thinking might as well. 
because now it's so hard they won't just give you a flat if you're just a normal person unless you've got like maybe problems with no but that was that was back in the day when you've had problems with your mum and they put you in hostels and stuff that was back in the day like everyone that was probably in a hostel back in the day they've now got a one bedroom flat but that's because the problems that they were telling the council about it was from back in the day now when you go to the council with problems i feel like they only house you if it's mad domestic i don't know because i'm not really in that council system but i feel like it's very hard for mothers and i feel like if you're a mum, just keep doing what you're doing and god will help you or whatever you believe in it will help you and i just send well wishes and blessings to all the mothers out there as it's coming to mother's day as well thank you for trying your best with your children thank you for being good mothers god bless you and i pray that you can continue and even when you wake up and you feel like oh, i can't do this you're a good mama stay strong but thank you for watching my channel today and i pray that you can like and subscribe i actually pray that though seriously like the more you lot get engaged and actually show me that you like my channel i'll continue and i have said that obviously don't get me wrong i'm gonna get a camera i'm gonna get a ring light so that it can look more you know how these youtubers videos look but right now i'm just starting off with what i've got because i feel like do you feel like that sometimes when you do youtube not youtube but when you do something in your life you always pause it you do it and then you just oh i can't be bothered you do it oh, i can't be bothered that was me like with my driving with this youtube thing with hair with any i used to even want to do like a clothing business i paused it i never done it again I'm, I'm good at cooking i stopped doing cooking i wanted to sell food in containers i didn't do it so youtube now and my little zz braids i'm trying to take it serious because i feel like it will help in the future in terms of showing my kids that you can do businesses and it might help support my kids in terms of like me giving the business to them they might want to carry on and do youtube they might want to do hair you never know so now i'm actually trying to keep to my goals when i'm trying to start things because it's always good to have your career don't get me wrong but it's good to have your self business but i don't really see youtube as a business though i see it as like more like i'm influencing people and giving them advice and stuff but obviously it is a business because when you do really well they might offer you a rewards or people might even bring you out to be on other channels to talk about things so yeah it works both ways really but right now i just want to get my likes and subscribes and obviously just talk to you guys and you can comment down below you don't have to you can just watch and like and subscribe even if you like and subscribe i will love it even if you don't comment and you just like and subscribe i'll still love it but yeah thanks for watching my cha channel i know mother's day is coming up if i post this before or after mother's day happy mother's day and i hope this will encourage all the mothers to keep strong carry on and no matter what this country throws at us you can do it even if you're black african caribbean asian wherever you're from europe wherever you're from like just try and be a good mom and try your best and in the future your child will be grateful they'll be happy they'll be like mom you really tried for me and if they don't think you've tried for them at least you know you've done your best especially when you really do your best really like try your best you will know that okay i've tried no matter what my child thinks of me i've tried that's all I'm going to do as well. I'm going to try and do my best as a mum. And in the future, hopefully my kids will like love me and guide and protect me and look after me because they see what I've gone through for them. And if they don't, doesn't matter. At least I tried. But yeah, um, sending positive vibes to all the mothers. Thank you for watching my channel today. Bye.